Hello, my precious beings of love and light. I'm so grateful for every single one of you. I realize I haven't done a card pull in a while. Um, this is Madame Esma, and and she's pretty freaking cool and powerful. So she's gonna chill, and I'm gonna pull three cards for the equinox today. Is it the equinox? It's the autumn equinox. Yeah, that's today. Libra season will be a little bit scatterbrained. <gasps> be a little scatterbrained. A little scatterbrained is the wrong word. We Libras can come across as scatterbrained or indecisive because they're like, there's this one incredible side to the penny, and then there's this other incredible side to the penny, but it's just a motherfucking penny. So juggle juggle i guess um i'll pull three cards today for the oh jesus god okay thank you um these okay these just came out um this is a libra card so i'm just gonna keep it and let's let's just happened a lot quicker than i'd expected it to but um tis the way of the world apparently let's put this down do, 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 Can we see them all? Okie dokie. So, and then underneath it, I just want to see if I can get everybody in. And then underneath it is strength. Um, so if things seem upside down, topsy-turvy, that's okie dokie. That's, that's where we are right now. Um, the whole world is changing. Um, if you're drawn to my content or others, just know that things are changing. You're so safe above all, you're so safe, but just like know that things are changing and that you try to do something and you know, it, it's nine out of 10. It just doesn't work right. You try to do another thing and it's just like this. I know this is my passion. I know this is what I'm supposed to be doing, but if it's not 10 out of 10, 10 plus out of 10, God's not going to let you have it because you won't want it. If it's not 10 out of 10, you won't want it. So remember that if the mummy taught us anything, it's death is only the beginning. Like, don't be scared. Don't be scared. The rose, the white rose that death carries is behind everything. Like, none of us get out of it. We're all going to die. We're all going to die. You know, I'm studying to be a death doula. Let me show you, I've got my book right here. So I can familiarize everybody with just transitioning from a body to being a consciousness. Like this is a consciousness. The cards are a consciousness. I'm a consciousness. My glasses are a consciousness. You're a consciousness. So when the consciousness leaves the meat suit, it's going somewhere else. So let's look at kind of like after whatever death, ego death, human death, whatever it may be, after a change, a transition, how can we look at things differently? Or if we don't really have the language yet for like how the world is changing, we know it is. We can feel it in our bones. So how can we be a little bit more adaptable? How can we be a little bit more adaptable? This guy over here, don't say yes unless it feels so fucking fluid like so fluid so good so incredibly good don't say yes don't sign the contract don't do the thing unless it feels fucking perfect perfect you know the why you understand why you're doing what you're doing if the nitty-gritty if all of the things aren't just right then don't do it it's okay what is meant for you is only meant for you. It's not meant for anybody else. There's no competition. So what is meant for you is trying to find you. So if you're like, oh, this is kind of it. This is kind of the guy. This is kind of the girl. No, no, because you are 10 out of 10. 10 plus out of 10 is like, where is she? Where is she? I got this basic bitch that's over here. That's kind of like what I want it to be, but it's not just right. Both of you have to stop and say, I'm worthy. I'm worthy of the best job, the best apartment, the best partner, the best community, the best, the best, the best, the best, the best, because it exists on this planet and you are worthy of it 
Whether or not you're willing to have it, that's a you question. So are you willing to wait for your blessings? Are you willing to wait? And how can you turn purgatory into like infinite joy? Where's more? Being your creative badass self. Money's coming. All the blessings of the earth are coming. Like, yeah. All the blessings are coming. Dude, so much balance, so many. So we have two twos, two sixes. Oh yeah, this one back here, giving and receiving. So in as you're waiting for your blessings to come in and then you're waiting for your manifestations to come in, I mean, this is Bob Proctor language. This is the secret language. I don't have to teach you what it is. There's like, either you know this language or you don't. But while you're waiting for the physical world to catch up to your mind space and your manifestation because you're vibrating at the wealth frequency, the abundance frequency, what do you have an abundance of that you can give to the world? What do you have an abundance of that you can offer? Time, energy, food, love, compassion. What do you have that you can offer? Give that because everything is energy. So if you have something that you can give effortlessly, give it. Don't hoard anything. Don't let it become stale in the back of your closet. Can we get to a major arcana? Oh, precious. When you wish upon a star, think about what you wanted back in the day or when no one's coming, when nobody told you who you were supposed to be, what did you want to be, who did you want to be? Because your job right now, just to look at it, just look at it. And be strong in the midst of it all. I love you all. I could keep going for ages and ages and ages. Please reach out with any questions. If you need anything at all, that is what I am here for. From now until the end of the year, if nothing changed but your mindset, how would you shift your mindset? I love you.